This race recap brought to you by Phillips Connect, technology that moves us forward. Josh Hart, anything's possible, it says across the back of the wing. The final round of Top Fuel here at the Midwest Nationals. Torrance is 027 at the finish line stripe. He's back, baby. 374-1, 328 miles an hour. Hart goes 374-9, 329. And Tony, he split his wig on the starting line. Steve, while we were interviewing Robert, we could already hear you hollering. And when you look at the adversity that you have had as a team this year, then how does that uh, make the measure of a team? You know, I mean, you can judge people by when they're down and out and what they do and how they come through it. And those Capco boys, that, I mean, they're the baddest boys in the business. We've struggled all year, some self-inflicted, some of it on, our, on, on other reasons. But you know what? A great weekend for us. We're glad to have an opportunity to be back in this countdown for the championship. Josh Hart and that team, they're bad to the bone. And they've been running really good, but we're doing the best we can. Thank you to all the Capco boys, the good Lord looking after us, and thanks for everybody that supports us. You know, this is a big run for Robert. I mean, he's usually the favorite. That's not the case here. They don't need to find one or two hundredths. They need to find a few hundredths of a second of performance. Robert Height's 041, caps his car wandering around, and it's going to be Robert Height. 391-1, 331 miles an hour. Height wins it on a hole shot. Brian, that smile you saw at the camera earlier was Robert Height learning that he won on a hole shot. He just talked to his daughter, Autumn, on FaceTime. And Robert, when you look at the competition in this funny car field, how are they holding you accountable in this points lead? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we just got to keep doing what we've done all year long, not change a single thing, okay? We had a little hiccup last week, uh, but we're, we're right back, okay? We qualified well, and, and we win a race. You know, we were the underdogs up there. Uh, Caps had lane choice. But that was the longest tow from where I got this thing shut down to the finish line because I had no idea. My radio didn't work, didn't see a wind light, had no idea whether we won. So uh, anyway, great job to the AAA of Missouri team, Power Solar, Cornwell Tools. But you know what? I won here in 2018 and didn't get to celebrate, okay? Had to go to the hospital. We're going to double celebrate tonight. Yes! <laughs> now we wait. He's rolling in. He went red. It sounded to me, Tony, like the two-step failed when he brought the revs up. Eric Anders wins this race for the sixth time. 6.53.5 at 2.10. Her eighth this season, to be exact, Brian, and the word that we've been talking to you all day is how comfortable you are with this points lead. If that's not how you want to describe it, what would you say? Just a blessed girl. Uh, I give God all the glory. This is a, this is definitely a really fun ride. You know, we started off this season with the attitude that we weren't we were going to take any crap from anybody, and my guys have done just that, and I've done my best to do that in the cockpit. So, for Melling Performance, for Gallagher, for People Lease, all the people that make this possible for us, we couldn't do it without them. Uh, JHG as well, Bo's uh, Bo's team owner. So we're just super stoked to be parking this Melling Performance Camaro in the in the winter circle at St. Louis for the umpteen time, whatever it is. But I'm so proud of my team, Amanda, and uh, this is just awesome. Woo! 107 degree racetrack, beautiful conditions. It's cobalt blue skies. Matt Smith matches Savoy within two thousandths on reaction time. Matt Smith begins to drive away, and Matt Smith, 675, 6, 202 miles an hour, outrunning Savoy, 681.9. For Smith, it is career win number 36 and career final round 70. We talk about it. He lives this, he breathes it, he eats it and sleeps it every day, and that's why he is potentially on his way for a sixth championship. And he gets the trophy in the points lead here this weekend. And Brian was just saying that you're on the brink of a sixth championship for yourself. How important was this weekend and making sure you put yourself in that conversation? Yeah, it's uh, it's a big weekend for this Denzo bike, for the whole team. I mean, leaving here one and three in points, Angie's third, I'm one. Uh, this Denzo, Lucas Oil, Mark Stock, Seth, Greg Butcher, Smith Trucking, Pet Boys, Scrappers. Thanks to everybody that helps us. I mean, you just don't know how hard it is to get sponsors and keep sponsors out here because this whole class is tough, and uh, I look forward to going to Dallas. Got a cameo appearance, got a shot at a trophy. You don't get many opportunities like this, and you'd hate to have one get away. Red light, no! Easy!
J.R. Gray goes red by two thousandths of a second. Moves over out of the groove, skates around. Dan Ferris gets the win, 588, 192 miles an hour. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. This is Adam Hickey, and he's just going to pull up and take the tree. He was supposed to run Jason in that comp eliminator final. You remember what happened to Jason? Jason came up in his semifinal bye, had that wild top end crash and was unable to return. Adam Hickey, out of respect, just gonna take the tree and take the win. Happened, they call him the corn dog king. He is in the concession business, like county fairs and circuses and that kind of thing. And he makes a mean corn dog, really mean corn dog. Darzik wheels up and away. Little 327 is trying to hold on. Marion Stevenson has already caught him. Tyler slowing down and Marion Stevenson's gonna get the win. 964 to 120 miles an hour. Tyler Wadarzik was dialed 1038 and something happened to his car. It simply did not perform. And we come down to a couple of pretty cool cars in the final round. Jimmy Hidalgo, they call, call him the country puppy because his dad's the country dog and he's standing right behind his kid. And Chris Newton over on the left side. That is an SS 396 four speed 69 Camaro. How'd you like to have one of those babies in your collection? Dialed in at 1027, Hidalgo got the new gen GTO. He is gonna leave first, it's handicapped it's dial your own, and it's the final round. Red light start. Oh, heartbreak. Chris let the clutch out one thousandth too soon. 1088 on the 1089, 114. They are capable of much quicker, and that's why you'll see them off the starting line. They slow down, drop back. You're trying to adjust your car to hit the index. And then they run wide open and charge to the other end. Every heads up class uses the Pro Star Christmas tree as you see. There's the throttle stop doing its thing. And now they run wide open to the stripe. 890 is the standard. 8.907. Oh, How about the Houston family going back to back? They Bob Cropfeld. Out of Ohio over here on the right side, the topless 67 Camaro. The Roadsters have been kind of ruling the roost here as of late. 9.9 .9 seconds is the index. Same basic idea as the super comp cars we saw just a little bit ago. Hit the tree and slow your machine down to run 9.9 .9 seconds. The hit the tree part, both of them got that part. Throttle stop on and off. Neither driver has ever lost a final round. Pat DeBottis just lost his first final round. Kropfeld goes double 05 on the reaction time. It's like trying to thread a needle at 220 miles an hour. Handicap start, but you're barely gonna be able to see it. It takes two hundredths of a second to blink your eyes. And that's the difference in the predicted elapsed times for these two racers. Ed's ready and Darian will follow him right in. Time to go. They dialed within two hundredths. They left within two thousandths and Darian wins it. 6.234, the Bosch family celebrates 215. Ed Dudley goes 624 at 229 miles an hour. Back of the dial a little bit and Darian just be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest in drag racing content and some awesome old school races. Make sure you check out the Competition Plus Power Hour with the Monday morning racer Lee Craft and Slammin' Sammy Smith every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter channels.
it's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play.